special day. I'm gonna go to church, enjoy my day with my husband, and then probably announce it tomorrow. with the stove because it has two settings either off or burning your food there's no in between it either takes a century to uh, to warm up the pan or it ha or it's burning it before and, and you can't cook and we had we had the stove at our previous house and one of the things that I was looking forward to the most when getting a new house was like, I'm finally gonna get away from that stove. And when we came and we got this house, of all the thousands upon thousands of models of stove across, you know, dozens of different brands that are available in these United States, the model that had to come with this house that we bought was the exact same one that I have come to love so dearly. It's the exact same stove. <laughs> <laughs> with the exact same problem. So the problem is that it takes forever to, to warm and it takes forever to cool down. Yes, right? it's either you're either waiting a century for it to warm up, like to boil a pot of water or, or something like that, or if you or, or if like frying an egg, it'll be burning. Um, <laughs> it's infuriating. I've kind of learned to mitigate it by. Uh, by pulling the pan. Very first time. What do you mean, very first time? You first cycle? First 
first attempt. First, first. Yes. It has to be, otherwise there's no way you could show this early. I'll just make sure it's recording. <laughs> But then, like, there was never an opportunity for me to do anything. <laughs> and it was super hard to, like, actually go to the chair there on a moment that it wouldn't be here. So, 5.14 is our... I do think, yeah. This is what we're expecting. You hit, the, you hit the target. Will you be the daddy of our baby? I hope so. <laughs> yes, I love you. We are pregnant. <laughs> oh, and it's in pink. It's in pink letters, so maybe that's a maybe that's a uh, Just I like an pink. omen. <laughs> Just because I like pink, but that doesn't mean it. Was it was a Marilyn Monroe. I'm also using pink. I think I do not. Oh, it's not on purpose. Maybe we have. Maybe it's just. Um, maybe the hormones just know. I didn't think I was pregnant. I I'm not even sure. I was. At, I told you. I thought. So that, I didn't. Even I wasn't even thinking it was going to be positive, I thought I was, I, I didn't think I was pregnant. And so I was like, I was recording just the test, not even myself. Because I thought it's probably going to be negative, not even need to show, show my face. Do it. So we are expecting, <laughs> ex, expecting. <laughs> that was an exceptionally good I'll, joke. Ex <laughs> that was an exceptionally good joke. <laughs> Alright, so when are we going to tell everybody? I don't know, I barely found out yesterday morning. No, I found out last yesterday. And I was wanting to do the announcement during the picnic. And it was Jesus, like, we could, we could, it we may could not absolutely have... never, not once. <laughs> if we weren't, we didn't want to make it. <laughs> that doesn't exist with, <laughs> with us. Well, and it was four days from ovulation day, it was like, Four, five days, six days, and I think. Like if we didn't take very specific steps to ensure when we were going to get pregnant and when not, we'd be those couples that those couples that have like fifteen kids. Probably, I think I would probably get pregnant every single time. As soon as the baby starts solid food, like at six months, I probably would be able to get pregnant again. I don't know. Now we did everything possible to get a girl on this one, right? Yes. As far as I'm concerned, yes, but we may get a boy. <laughs> we may get a boy anyways. Mm -hmm. There's another monkey there on the way. Monkey over here? Here, Sandra. There's a baby. Here. Oh, Mommy's belly. Do you remember when Isaac was in Mommy's belly? Do you remember? Yeah, do you remember? There's a baby there. Another one. There's a baby. There's a baby. There's, There's a baby in there. There's a baby in there. Baby. There's a baby. Oh, is it a baby? So I did a lab test, but you I. What? You went to a doctor. There was a day. There was a day that I went with the car almost several hours, like two hours. Yes. Yeah. Remember we were with the kids. Yeah. That day I went to Chattanooga. I went to the lab on Wednesday and I did a, like it was a walk-in lab and they, they, they drew my blood. The lady, how do you say, wrapped around a pink bandage to keep the blood. And two days later they sent me the lab results and when I opened up, I didn't understand the lab results, but I think the lab result says that I'm not pregnant. The lab result, I thought, and so this is the lab result, but it doesn't look mm -hmm. like it's pregnant there. So after the lab result, I was like, I am probably, I should probably get prepared to, maybe it didn't work, maybe it was too far from the ovulation, maybe I did not get pregnant. And I was trying at the same time, I get mixed emotions, so I was trying at the same time to keep my hopes up until my period. Like I didn't want to completely discourage myself until I missed my until I got my period. Yeah, so it was, says the result is less than one, so which is zero. That I would say non-pregnant, right? I was... 
Yeah, I would say that that's... Uh, that's negative. Yeah, it's negative. I went to the bathroom and started recording the test just so that I wasn't even going to record my face because I knew it was going to be probably negative. And then as three minutes passed and I looked, he had a light, but not a faint one. It was like, kind of like the way it is now. Yeah. No, I mean, this is like... Really see it. And then it's like... Sometimes there's an evaporation line and you can see uh, initially, but then it goes away before three minutes. <laughs> but I, I'm shocked because the day before it was nothing and today it was strong. So in 24 hours... Because your, your, your hormone level is rising like rapidly. You're, I mean, you're full blown pregnant. <laughs> Uh, yesterday, I didn't know yet that we were expecting it. And we were having macaroni salad at a park. We were having just like a picnic for the family. And uh, Swellen said, men said something about how it would be good in a sandwich. Like macaroni salad in a sandwich. And I was like... But like cold. It's like cold. And I said, in a sandwich? I was like... <laughs> I was like, you must be pregnant. I said this joking, unknown, and she's like, why? I was like, the pregnancy craving, you know? And I guess I hit the, I guess I hit, like she said here, I hit the target. <laughs> but the, and it's funny because that, that was the day I found out I'm pregnant. Consciously, I told you that I was pregnant or something? Yeah, but I didn't pick it up. <laughs> But I've never had that craving of putting my food on the side of the side of sandwich. I've never had that, okay? I'm gonna make it clear. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. I automatically have a macaroni salad on oh. a sandwich. I've Maybe been, with a sandwich but like on the side. Before the, before the picnic, I was wanting to make cold sandwiches. And uh, we did not have a cold sandwich prepared, so that's probably why I wanted the macaroni salad in the sandwich. Because it just sounded good to have a kind of a cold sandwich. I'm weird. We're gonna call, we're gonna put that one on the list of pregnancy things because it makes absolutely no sense to anybody else. Macaroni salad sandwich. All right, guys, we'll do the live pregnancy in a little bit. We'll see you soon. You wanna show them?